Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video tutorial, I will explain how to render the React.js component on a ASP.NET MVC application. And here we got the final output. Notice in this index.view page, this is the output from the React.js component. Let's check that one. See, in the app.jsx file, hello, my name is Charan. And I'm referencing this React view in this H1 tag. Let's change the output. My name is Jack. Let's reload the browser. See, hello, my name is Jack. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new MVC application. And I'm using Visual Studio 2019. Go to File, New, Project. From this project, I'm selecting ASP.NET Web Application, which is a .NET framework. Click Next. After that, I'm giving some project name is MVC React First App is my project name and I'm saving this project in this folder react.js-mvc which is in the e drive. Click create. After that I'm selecting the default mvc project template. If you want you can create the empty also but I, here I'm selecting the mvc. Click create. And here the project has been created successfully. Let me close this default window. Now the next step open Solution Explorer. Notice when I open the Solution Explorer, in our project, there are some default folders and files, MVC folders and files has been created automatically. And also notice the scripts folders in our project. When I expand this folder, and notice in this scripts folder contains all the client side scripts which are the bootstrap, jQuery or JavaScript files. All the files will be stored in this folder only. So first, when we want to implement the React.js to our MVC application, we need to install some packages. So first we require uh, some packages. Go to tools, Nudget package manager and package manage console. Open that one. And here I'm adding install package react.js. Click enter. And here the react.js application, uh, some packages are installed in our project scripts folder. Notice we got the React folder is added. When I expand this React folder, and these are the react.js files that are added to this folder react. Now the next packages we require, let me minimize this react folder as well as the scripts folder. Right click the project, go to manage Nudget packages. Here from the Nudget package go to browse and search for react.js.net. So from the search results, I'm selecting the react.web.mvc4, click that one, install. And notice here, attempting to gather dependencies information. So it will take some time to install those packages. Please be patient. Click OK. And notice when I click OK, there are some other packages also installed and these three packages is installed in our project references folder. And see here the react.web.mvc4 web and core. Let me minimize this folder. Now we require JavaScript engine switcher. These packages also be required. Select this one, click install. Click OK. It's installed successfully. Let's close this readme.txt file. And also we require the 
the Windows version X64 of the JavaScript engines which are 64 and 86 both. First I am installing the 64 version. Click OK. Close the readme.txt file. Now we require the 86 install. Click OK. Now all the packages we have installed so far, there are six packages. Let me close this, all the Nudget package windows. After installing the necessary packages, now the next step, before implementing the React.js to our application, let me check what's the output of our application. Here our controller is the home controller and in this home folder, the index.cshtml is a default view page of our application. So let's run this application first. And here we got the home page of our application. This is the index.view page. Now what I'm doing, let me stop this debugging. Open index.cshtml file. I'm deleting all this default code. So now my home page is totally empty. Now I want to render the react.js component on this index.view page, CSHTML page. So first we require the react.js component and that component I'm adding in our project scripts folder. Let me expand this scripts folder and I'm adding a new folder, new folder. The folder name is JS, it's a JavaScript file. I click the mouse, I'm adding one JSX file. Notice the JSX file. The app name is, and here we got the JSX file. See so here, app.jsx file. Now let's declare a variable hello is equals to react dot create class in this class let's see colon here I'm adding one render method inside this render method this function return um, here we call the render function function return Um, return let's add the do tag I'm closing the do element inside this do element I'm adding hello my name is Charan and this is the output I'm expecting to display on this index.cshtml view page so I want to re render react react dot render method. So react dot render method. I'm adding the hello, which is my variable name. Let's close this one comma. And we require the document element by ID. Document dot get element by ID between double quotes. Um, react div column and this id we require here on this view page so div instead of div here what i'm doing i'm adding one h1 tag add the id react div make sure we need to add this id name to this id so we can get this message in this div in this h1 tags and after that we require the necessary script tags also so open solution explorer first we need to install the react.min.js file and also we require the reference dot uh, reference of the app.jsx which is this one so here let's add the script 
we are at a script source at url.content we don't require this one but we require the closing script tag that's it now the most important step is we need to configure the javascript engine open the app.start folder notice in this app.start folder we have the react config.cs file open that one and here first we need to import the namespace using um, javascript engine switcher dot v8 after that here i'm adding javascript engine switcher dot code dot js engine switcher dot current dot default engine name is equals to v8 js engine dot engine name again javascript switcher dot code dot js engine switcher dot current dot here require the engine factories dot add v8 method that's it that's it we have done the complete coding part now i'm expecting this output hello my name is Charan from this react.js component into this h1 element in this index view page let's check the output and here we got the final output notice in this index.view page this is the output from the react.js component let's check that one see in the app.jsx file hello my name is Chan, and i'm referencing this react view in this h1 tag let's change the output my name is jack let's reload the browser see hello my name is jack that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to render the react.js component in mvc asp.net mvc application thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel